the space race has taken a nuclear turn. Superpowers are preparing to plant reactors rather than flags on lunar soil. The U.S. now fast-tracking plans to build atomic infrastructure on the moon by 2030. But the U.S. will not be alone on the lunar surface. In fact, Russia and China are racing ahead with their own nuclear ambitions for 2035. The question is no longer over who will reach the moon first, but who will claim it with nuclear power. The moon is about to become humanity's first nuclear colony. Three nuclear superpowers have declared their intent to transform Earth's celestial neighbor into an atomic-powered outpost. This is not science fiction, this is a new reality of cosmic competition. According to reports, NASA Administrator Sean Duffy has issued an urgent directive to accelerate construction of a 100 kilowatt nuclear reactor on the lunar surface, superseding previous plans for a less powerful 40 kilowatt system. But the US is not alone in this cosmic power grab. Russia and China have already signed a deal to construct their own nuclear power plant on the moon, targeting completion by 2035 as part of their jointly developed International Lunar Research Station. Three, two, one, boosters in and liftoff of Artemis 1. The lunar night, which can last for two weeks, makes solar power an unreliable option for a permanent human settlement. A nuclear reactor, however, would provide a continuous high output energy source, enabling habitants, mining equipment and scientific laboratories to operate around the clock. Clearly emerging as a three-way nuclear race played out against the stark backdrop of space, where the stakes are nothing less than dominance over humanity's future in the cosmos. The US fears that if China and Russia make it to the moon before it does, they could barricade a part of the moon, declaring it a keep-out zone, basically pushing it out of the area. This race is no longer about science, it is about who will write the first laws, carve up territories and dictate access to trillions of dollars worth of lunar minerals. One side's triumph could lock out the rest for decades to come. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.